Oh, hi, Gemini. This is going to be your reading. This is for Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, what deck is this? This is the, the Panther or Panther deck. It's so cute. The artwork is so cute. It's really, really adorable. Ceremony, mystery, magic, right? Ooh, it's so cute. But anyways, uh, Gemini placements, what do they need to know right now? What do Gemini placements need to know? So we got natural disaster, risk, frustration, survive, number 38. So somebody here could be 38. You could be the uh, life path 11 or 2. Hold on. <clears throat> So I don't know, some of you guys are living near a place where natural disasters occur, like storms, raining, because you can see somebody here could be a weather forecaster, okay? Some of you guys are good at predicting what uh, upcoming disasters. It doesn't have to be about the weather. It could be about just anything. What else? That's how you guys survive. Like, you guys could be very intuitive. Yeah, you guys know what risk to take and which risk to not take. Number 31, somebody could be the age 31, a life path four. Uh, we got loneliness, dullness, disappointment, isolation. Yeah, some of you guys could be feeling, you could be spending a lot of time indoors, Geminis. Okay, or this is somebody in your energy. Make sure you're getting out. Make sure you're getting your fresh air, your daily walks, your sun. There could have been something disappointing that happened or maybe something that you wanted to happen didn't. All right. That's... Yeah, fright, depression, phobia, paranoid. Oh, we got 62. Somebody could be the age 62, a life path eight. What else for Gemini placements? And we got homeless, donate, 53, somebody could be age 53, age 30, or you could be around the age, you could be, somebody here could be between the age 30 to 53, okay, or around those, you know, um, a little younger or after those ages or somewhere in between that, but homeless, failure, castaway, and poor. Some of you guys could, and that came out in your last reading, Geminis. Some of you guys could be struggling with something. It doesn't have to be financial. Not everyone is struggling financially. Um, some people are, maybe most people are, right? I don't want to even say most people. Just apply this to where you fit. Some of you guys are struggling with finances. You could be struggling with things in love, emotions, fear, um, codependency. Some of you guys could feel ostracized, isolated. You could be going through something that feels very unique to you. Okay. We got conflict. D uh, difference, dis uh, dispute, oh, disputation and quarrel. So there could be conflicts between you and friends, family, okay? Yeah, look at this, friendship, team, connection, network, disturbance, obscure, irritation, supernatural. And you see how this is like an entity that's on top of her, on top of his shoulders? Ooh, somebody could be walking around with a dark cloud on there, uh, above their head. Or this could be you, Gemini. I don't know if somebody's sending this, these energies your way, okay? So if y'all been, if you, if you were feeling good and then all of a sudden you feel some type of way and you don't really have a reason to be, either somebody is like trying to purposely uh, disturb your peace throw you off or this could be something being sent to you energetically somebody could be attacking some type of wound that you have because people you know that's how that magic and spell work and energy work and and people think energy work and spell work is spell is like you know the hoodoo voodoo but a person could just be thinking of you looking at your pictures or say your name and chant negative stuff about you or just talk shit about you and you may wonder why you feel so tired lethargic frustrated irritated you know and 
Yeah. What's the natural disaster, risk, frustration, survive for Gemini placements? This may not even be your energy, Gemini. This could be somebody around you or somebody that sh that's in your energy. What's the natural disaster? Yeah, Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo. I feel like you guys are coming out on top, Geminis. Regardless of whatever's being thrown at you, you guys know how to handle your own. You know how to stand your ground, whether it's energetically, physically, mentally, financially. Like Things always work out for you. You always end up on top. Always. You always end up on top. Regardless of what people try to throw at you, regardless of what life throws at you, you always come out on top. And if you are going through something right now, just know you're going to come out on top like you always do. Six of Wands. Some of you guys could be in the public eye. You could be in the spotlight. You could be an influencer. You can have a following on a platform of some sort. People look up to you. People could look up to how you handle things in life, Gemini. You could be really optimistic. Again, regardless of what life throws at you, regardless of what happens, you just always seem to like push through. You just always, no matter what negative energy, my left eye is jumping. My left eye always jumps when somebody's talking shit. What's natural disaster? You got people that are jealous of, of you because of that. Some y'all may, some y'all could be homeless. Some of you guys could be in between jobs. Some y'all could be struggling. Some of you guys could be feeling depressed and lonely, but you still get up and you still make things happen. People could be, people are jealous of that. Yeah, this could be friends, people in your close circle, people that that are close to your heart space, family, friends, people that you got kids with, you know, co-workers that you trusted. What was natural disaster? People who, strangers who watch you on the internet or strangers in your neighborhood, you'll be surprised. What's natural disaster? Yeah, 10 of pentacles, Mercury and Virgo, period. Some of you guys have some type of inheritance that's coming in. Yeah, something is also like gen like you are your ancestors are very proud of you. You're never alone, no matter how physically alone you may feel, Gemini. This could be a mother figure a grandmother, an aunt, or just like an ancestor, a guy, somebody that's part of your family lineage in some way, whether your mother's side or father's side, you have a lot of support. Yeah, you just, something is just long standing. This could be a business. What's the six of wands? Yeah, the lovers here. This is you, Gemini. You're coming out. You're the six of wands right now. Some of you guys have a lot of suitors. You, ooh, some of y'all about to, bitch. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Who's this? Who the fuck is this? Happy, happy, happy birthday. I'm sorry, I'm singing this song with Nova. Look at this. King of, who's this King of Pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries energy, Air, April, Aries, April, Taurus. For some of you guys, you have a lucrative business idea or or somebody here that could have passed on has some, they, they, they have, there's something that they're trying to show you or give you. If you are struggling, it's, it's, it's to get you out of it. And for some of you guys, it's to add to it. Or this is somebody in your energy. This could be a parental figure with the 10 of pentacles here. This could be a business partner. This could be something that you do for work. Ace of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Your status is changing, Gemini. And a lot of it is because you guys are coming into harmony and balance within yourself. Whatever you're going through right now, whether it was caused by your actions or others or whatever, it's bringing you into some type of harmony within yourself. What's the lovers? The lovers can also be about a choice. You guys, so some of you guys, if, this, if you're single, you have a lot of suitors coming in. Okay, a lot of people want to date you or they're very attracted to you, Gemini. The lovers. Ooh, Gemini, what the fuck is going on? The hangman, Pisces energy. The tower, Aries, Scorpio. Something is coming. The chariot. Cancerian energy, Gemini. Something is coming... 
Look, Santa. Let's show Santa. Let's show them Santa. Santa is 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 bringing in the gifts, baby. You know when Nova come through uh, with her messages by giving her little uh, donations of her dolls and toys, it be hitting. Santa is y'all are getting. It, I, shh, shh, uh, uh, baby. Shh, shh, shh. I don't know if it's coming right on time for Christmas or after, or it's gonna feel like you're just you're you're getting something. Child, I don't even know how to, I don't even know what to say. Gemini, <laughs> look at these people falling out. These could be ex-lovers of yours too. I don't know. People could be trying to do, do shit to your love life. Bitch, a lot of y'all about to go into a marriage, a long-term commitment. Your status is going to be changing. You're, it's, you're, it's love and money. So I don't care, I don't, but regardless of what your life is looking like right now, Gemini, if you already have love and money in your life, it's going to get better. If you don't, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. No matter. It's coming. Keep going. Keep on fucking going. The tower. These people are falling out of a burning building. For some of you guys, there could have been some type of uh, natural disaster to like um, somebody's living condition. So somebody here could be going from like having a home to homeless because of some type of natural disaster. So, you know, somebody may need your help. This could be somebody at a distance. Some of you guys may be forced to move. Yeah, you may be, you're, for, you're being forced to surrender something. Maybe to surrender your ego, your pride. What's the tower and the chariot? There's change coming, Gemini. Something is going to be pushing you out your comfort zone. Pushing you out your comfort zone. What's the tower and the chariot? Oh, man. Two of wands, Mars and Aries. It's something about your future. A decision. Somebody here is going to be forced into making a decision. If you were dating somebody and they had a lot of options and they couldn't choose, I feel like the universe is going to choose for them. Yeah, there's a cycle closing out. There's a goal that's been achieved or it's going to be. Some of you guys are stepping into a whole new cycle. The world card, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Some of you guys are seen all over the world. You could be moving across the state, across the country. That could be what's happening. What's the ten of wands? What's the ten of pentacles? The high priestess. High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. Did she see you dancing, baby? You, wiggle. you hear wiggle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gemini. She's so cute. Um, High Priestess, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Somebody's first or last initials could be B or J. Baby, y'all are... Gem oh, the devil in reverse, Capricorn. This, I'm sorry, Geminis. I'm so hyped for y'all. <laughs> I'm so hyped for y'all. All these major arcanas are ready. The lovers, the tower, the chariot, the high priestess. Some of you guys, when you get this big lump sum of money, keep this shit to yourself. Or some of y'all are building your generational wealth. Some of you guys have a spiritual business. Some of you guys have mastered the light and dark. Because, you know, the, the high priestess is between the light and dark as the light and dark pillars some of you guys have mastered the light and dark aspects your shadow self of yourself and that's why you have the lovers upright the devil in reverse so say so even if you guys say some of you guys may have felt like you sabotaged an opportunity in something recently you taught yourself a lesson Something could have woken up. Something you could have gotten a revelation. It's going to help you move forward. It's going to help you get out of that. It's going to help you do better in the future. For some of you guys. What's the high priestess? So don't beat yourself up. High priestess. Yeah, five of swords. Venus and Aquarius. Yeah, Geminis. Don't let the past get in your way here. With this five of swords, there's the two swords in her hand. Well, three swords in her hand. It's like the three of swords and then the two of swords on the floor. Don't let grief and bitterness and sadness and pain, eight of cups in reverse, that you can still be holding on to, still always going back to replaying in your head, block your, it could be blocking your intuition. This five of swords here, this could be about you standing up for yourself. I feel like you fought, you, you fought back 
spiritually against something or someone. This could be even something that's been on your on your family's ancestral line. You're do you're you know you're doing something about it. Five of Swords. What's the Five of Swords about? Yeah, Page of Wands. This could be your inner child wound that you guys have. There could be miscommunication. Some of you guys could have, yeah. I feel like you got somebody here. You may have a few people that may want to try to come in and plan your emotions. But you need to, you need, some of you guys could also have trust issues too. You, but that five of swords could be self-sabotage. So be mindful of that. Okay, what's the page of wands? Yeah, Six of Pentacles here in reverse. Moon and Taurus. Some of you guys could have been some of you guys could have been involved with people where it was just sex. It wasn't really anything. Nothing. There was no forward movement. There was no. It wasn't an equal give and take. It was. It could have been unrequited or felt unrequited. Um, people could be really obsessive with your energy, Gemini, especially your sexual energy and a lot of mind games. And I, I feel like a lot of you guys, you realize this could even be something that you've you know it's it felt comfortable maybe because you have the nine of pentacles you can have codependency wounds here yeah you guys may struggle with that six of swords in reverse is like something progressing slowly trouble heading i feel like don't let people i feel like people trying to start trouble with you energetically they know you have something coming in be careful be careful with how you handle things gemini six of pentacles in reverse it's like a yeah, ace of pentacles. You're getting some type of big lump sum. You're getting a payout. Whether people want you to have it or not, you're getting it. Ace of pentacles. Also, when it comes to dating, for those of you who are single, don't let people dangle a carrot over your head. Or don't just fall for potential. Okay? Don't don't just don't just go for that. The Six of Pentacles, some of you guys could be getting a loan for a business or for something that you want to do. This could be like for a new home, a car, a business, like I said. Okay, you may need to take out a loan. I feel like you're going to, if you are, if you apply for one, I feel like there's going to be good news about it. You're getting good news in regards to something being yours. It could be in love. It could be in money. It could be in business. It could be in whatever. A lot of y'all are planning and focusing on your future. What's loneliness? Dullness, disappointment, isolation. Yeah, four of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, the eight of wands here, Mercury and Sag. For a lot of you, if there was energy sent, some of y'all could need to save for a big purchase, like a home, an apartment, or stuff like that, or move. Somebody could be losing something of value. But the six of pentacles minus the four... That'll be the two of um, two of pen yeah. So some type of oh two of pentacles, some type of balance. Yeah, and we're, you're gonna have to drop and let something go in order for you to progress and move forward. It may require you guys to be lonely right now. It's something you could be feeling isolated, but it's to it's really to propel you forward because everybody can't come with you. And people, and when you get this big thing coming in, people are gonna want to have their hand out, uh, want to be asking you for things. Or when something starts to take off for you, when they thought it wasn't, when they said they was, oh, that's or that's never, she's never gonna, or he or she's never gonna do that. That's never gonna take, you know. Then they're gonna be like, oh, it's actually growing, it's actually taking off. Oh my God, let's, oh, let's, you know, let's praise Gemini now. It's like, no, y'all was talking shit before. Don't do it now. <laughs> so I feel like sources were moving people and energies away from you that are not supposed that you're not supposed to be sharing whatever this is with so it may feel a little bit lonely right now you may even feel bored it may it may be disappointing to have to let let certain people or things and places go but it's it's for, it's for you to have some type of forward movement some type of elevation and progression you're gonna have to release something you can't you can't you can't be you can't serve two masters you can't hold on to to both worlds okay what's loneliness Something's going to force you guys out of your comfort zone. It could be love. It could be like business. It could be something spiritual. It could be you guys losing a home, losing your money or something. Or this could be someone else. What's loneliness? The Gemini. Empress. Wow. Taurus, Libra energy. There could be a mother figure, a friend. 
a father figure. This could be somebody that you have kids with. Somebody here could be feeling lonely. They could feel like you're abandoning them. They can feel, like, yeah, some of you guys are in your empress energy. You're receiving. For some of you guys, I don't know if some of you guys are pregnant. You may feel alone or isolated because you can't really do much because you are pregnant or you just had a baby or something. There could be somebody that feels isolated from you, man or woman. Somebody could have isolated you while you were pregnant at one point in time. What's this for? Or if this person, I don't know if somebody got somebody pregnant or... We'll, we'll see. What's this for? Pentacles in reverse with the eight of wands. Upright. Yeah, the will of fortune. J Jupiter energy. Sagittarius Pisces. Something is changing for you. Stop, baby. Uh-uh. Leave it. Something is going in your favor. With the Empress, it could be motherhood, but it can also be about growth and expansion. Fertility. You're very fertile right now. You're very in, very in abundant energy. Be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of your feelings. I feel like for some of you guys at the age 31, wow, y'all could have been, or this could happen to like a mother figure around you, but somebody here could have been pre pregnant and alone at one point in time. It could have happened when someone was 31, 38, even older possibly. What's the will of fortune? I feel like whatever, whatever you guys went through, while you were coming into this, into womanhood, possibly, and pick whatever age, whatever age that was for you guys, whether it was motherhood, if you don't have kids, whatever, whatever womanhood is for you, you could have went, you could have had to go through something major alone, but it helped, it, 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 it did something to you in a positive way. That's why you're just so resilient. That's why no matter what comes at you, no matter what storms you face, you just know how to move forward. And that's why you're receiving something that you don't even have to give. You don't, You already paid your dues. So somebody could be gifting you this money or it's something that's owed to you. Will of Fortune, your fortune is definitely changing. Will of Fortune, I'm telling you, you're being isolated and, and, and deserted from people for a reason. The people not inviting you to things. If, if you feel like, damn, I don't have time to really go out. I'm so bored. Life is so boring. I don't have money to do this. I don't have money to do that. Spirit, the source, God, whoever doesn't want you around certain people, certain energies. There's something that source is trying to do for you to clear your path for your future, for your and generations to come. So what's the little fortune? Yeah, the moon here. You just don't see. You don't know what's coming on. Cancer Pisces here. The moon is about the emotions, the mother. I'm getting happy. Some of y'all could be pregnant. The four of pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys can need to declutter your home. If you have objects, clothing of people that they gave to you, gifted you, you may want to get rid of it. Even if it's something like a fucking pen, get rid of it. For others of you, um... Yeah, that four of pentacles is you, because the four of pentacles in reverse and then the devil in reverse is like you guys are releasing control and it's allowing you guys to be in this re this receiving energy, whether you're a man or a woman. You you know your worth. Something just clicked with for you, Gemini's. Some of y'all said, wait, a I don't know if you looked at, you walked by a mirror. You want to put your pants on? Hold on, Gemini. Come, let's put your pants. Pants on legs. Come, baby. Mm -hmm. Pants on legs. Hey. These are not too hot. It's a little hot in here. The heat is on. Thank God. But you dancing? My baby's gonna be two next month, y'all. Oh my God! The time I just bought her home. She is so. She's an Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius Sun and Moon, and she has a Gemini rising. She's so smart. Air sign kids are so smart. Um. Also, I feel like for a lot of you guys, Gemini's, you would benefit from, oh, with the fourth, I'm sorry, the fourth, yeah, some of you guys could be holding on to some type of bitterness and some type of resentment that you have towards someone or something, okay? It could be somebody that you have a child or children with. It could be even a, a parental figure, a mother, a father. It could be a friend, a sibling, an old boss, a manager, a company, whatever, right? Apply to whoever fits. You guys have to clear out this dead weight because if you don't release these burdens you're not going to have the space to receive what source is trying to give you 
For some, you guys need to declutter your home. For some, you guys need to get rid of uh, one relationship or one person to receive another. For some, you guys, you got to let go of those toxic ass, karmic ass, fake ass, low vibrational ass, competitive ass friends so you can receive better. Some of you guys need to, you know, dis distance yourself from certain family members so you can really find your soul tribe. Some of you guys are going to have to give up that old apartment to get something bigger and better. Some of you guys are going to have to give up certain habits to make space for better ones. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. But there's something that and for some of you guys, it's, maybe your finances are fine. And for some of you guys, maybe there aren't. But for whatever you, whatever is not fine in your life, there is, there's no, you got to create space for it. The Four of Pentacles talks about releasing, letting something go. Somebody could have been trying to take something from you in the spirit, energetically, spiritually. The Four of Pentacles could be like the thievery. Somebody, and I did see that seven, of, and we did see the seven of swords here. This could have been about a twin flame connection with the emperor here. Somebody here could have been doing spell work. Uh, on a destined partnership, playing on your psyche with the moon here. One minute you feel good, the next minute you don't. It's it's that's not you. The magician in reverse, Virgo, Gemini is definitely giving spell work. Somebody could have got caught doing something in a, in a in a in your dream state, whether by you or your guides. Some some of you guys are going to be there's going to be nat natural disasters that are going to happen to you and people around you that are going to force you to be away from certain people and energies and spaces so you can receive what's meant for you to have. So if people start dropping like flies or things start happening to them where y'all got to separate or things happen to you where you got to separate or you can't be out like you want, or it's for a reason. You're being separated for a reason, okay? Yeah, penis, but and this magician in reverse could be there could be delays in your manifestation, a lack of resources you may feel. Some of you guys, this with the seven of swords in reverse, this could be self deception. But look, the Empress upright, you have masculine and feminine energies are balanced. Some of you guys are gonna be you're you're an empress, you're gonna be you're gonna be with an emperor. You're an emperor, you're gonna be with an empress. What's this moon here? I expect some yeah look at this two of swords moon and libra some of you guys can have a moon and libra some some of y'all like oh my god gemini's four of wands venus and aries some of y'all could be getting a new home you could be getting engaged married whatever whatever the gift is whatever that's going to be for you guys is coming in it could be a solid partnership i'm getting heavy some y'all are moving Somebody could be moving, some or something is progressing. Some this could be travel. I, I'm, some y'all could be moving across state or country, child. Two of Swords here. Some y'all don't see something coming. Okay, you could have two a choice between two. You're gonna again, Gemini's. You're gonna have to let go of one. Seeing this Two of Wands, she already has chosen her wand. Some y'all, somebody's there could be this whatever this natural disaster, this tower, this upheaval, this changes. Okay. For some of you guys, it could be you guys losing a job, somebody somebody not being wanting, not wanting the same things as you. Whatever you, again, like I, I keep bringing it back because I, I, I feel like Source wants somebody to really hear this. Whatever you're losing, whatever's not going in your way, it's for your highest good. You're being separated at this time for a bigger reason than you realize. Two of Swords, you guys may have a choice to make here. You guys could be deciding, do I want to stay single? Do I want to be in a relationship? Do I want to marry this person? Do I not? Do I want to move? Do I not? Where do I want to move to? Do I want to stay? You know, you guys can have you can have options between homes, jobs, relationships. There's choices, okay? You have a, there's a choice that needs to be made. Some of you guys don't see, you guys are kind of confused because the, the moon here, could and with the two the moon could be about confusion and the two of swords it could be like choices you guys may not know what you want right now maybe some of y'all don't know what you want that can also be a thing too the eight of wands you may have a lot of things coming at you i don't know somebody here's trying to throw off your intuition but again you're being isolated for a reason you need to see who's who and what's what and that came up in one that came up in like three readings ago if you if uh, if you didn't go watch that reading or if you did go watch it again the title for you gemini it was called You'll see who's who and what's what soon enough. That's the title. You'll see who's who and what's what soon enough. Go watch that uh, reading. 
again or go watch it if you didn't. What's the Empress? Yeah, the Fool in Reverse. Somebody here. Mm. Aquarius, Aries, Energy. I don't know this. Somebody feels stuck. I don't know if somebody is stuck with somebody that they got pregnant or they tried to keep you stuck by getting you pregnant. I don't know. What's the Fool in Reverse? Some of y'all could be not sure if you are. What's the Fool in Reverse? King of Swords. Oh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Capricorn, Energy. January, Capricorn. January, Aquarius. Did somebody think of you being pregnant alone or you being pregnant or you having some type of position was going to slow you down or something? I feel like something is still moving for you. Something is still expanding and growing for you. I don't know. I, I, I feel like somebody here could be pregnant and they could be trying to decide if they want to keep it or not. That could be it too, Gemini's, for some of you guys or for somebody. They could be going through this whether you know it or not or this is you. Somebody here could be torn between that. What's the King of Swords here? Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. Maybe because you don't want a broken family. This person could be really cold towards you or they were. But some of you guys, you already had a child with this person and they could have abandoned you while you were pregnant. I don't know what they have to do with your reading. They, they could be going through something where they're homeless now or they're losing money. They could be out of a job. I feel like something is shifting for you, but it's not for them. Somebody could be going through a divorce, a breakup. Ten of Cups in reverse, Mars and Pisces. Yeah, this could be like a broken home. A toxic family dynamic. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Ten of Cups in reverse. Bless you. Yeah, Seven of Wands. This could be somebody that you have a child with here. Or a mother or father figure that's trying to block something for you. This person could want to like fight for their family or I don't know, to somebody or this is somebody that they saw themselves having a family with you. Whoever. They don't I feel like this person is in your energy really heavy and they, and that could be the blockage. This person could be feeling alone and isolated. I feel like they try to come off as this king of swords. They could be in a situation with somebody that they got pregnant or that they have a child with and they feel stuck, trapped, and miserable. Somebody's also afraid of change. They're afraid of growth. Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody's really bitter. So this is what they wanted you to feel was bitter. Knight of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Aquarius, February Pisces, February Aquarius. Queen of Swords here, uh, September Virgo, September Libra. Yeah, I feel like somebody, wanted, somebody is trying to purposely weigh you down, make you, I don't know. This could be uh, somebody in your family, your persons, or someone that you got a family with. It could be friends. It could be even strangers. You, you'll be surprised at who feels salty. This could be an ex of yours or someone that you don't want to be with anymore. This person could be really defensive or they're dealing with somebody that's like that. Somebody's intuition could be blocked. Somebody could be feeling alone. This could also, it could be some type of manipulation here. Somebody got caught or, they, or I don't know. This person could have been your twin at one point, but I feel like a contract has been breached or ripped to shreds because of how they did you. And if y'all got, and if some of y'all got a child with your twin and they left you in a cult while you were pregnant, that contract, that contract is null and void. Or if they had an opportunity to do right, coming back in your life or your kid's life or whatever, and they still didn't get it together, contract null and void. I feel like you're being protected because from something or someone. Again, spirit is blocking certain things for your it for your benefit. What's the two of swords here? It's something that you don't see. Yeah, three of cups. This could be two faced ass friends, Mercury and Cancer. Yeah, this could be something about friends that you don't see or a group of people that can't see some shit that are blocked from looking into your life now. Ace of Cups here. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of y'all got new love coming in. Look at this, the temperance in reverse, the devil in reverse. Some of you guys could be, you need to drink more water. 
So that these people are trying to attack your emotions, you may start to feel really dehydrated. You know, you may, you know, you could be, if you're noticing that you're not drinking as much water, that could be, it's a, you know, attacks don't, are not so obvious. I'm telling you. Three of Cups could be about communication, open communication. Some of you guys could be needing to do better with expressing your emotions. Speaking up. Do you have somebody blocked? What's the Seven of, Pen seven of Wands about? Seven of Wands. I feel like somebody's in your, in your energy sexually, possibly, or energetically trying to do something. If you've been having dreams about people having sex with you or, or things like that, you, you need to do uh, protect your sacral. Or, yeah, what's the seven of wands? Yeah, there's a, there's a hero font, Taurus energy. Somebody here could be married. Y'all could be in an interracial relationship. Some of y'all could have, you, you could be meeting somebody or met somebody through a friend. Or y'all could have went to school together, worked together for some of y'all while you were out partying. Something is definitely changing. So anyways, I'm just going to say this, iso this, this, this level up is requiring some type of isolation. Some of y'all have unwavering faith. A lot of you guys are also very spiritually. Yeah, with the high priestess and the and and the fucking hero font, a lot of you guys are highly high, a spiritual ranked. Highly, you're highly spiritual ranked. Somebody's about to get their ass whooped with a stick for fucking with you, Gemini's. So if you feel like, oh, you know, you've been in the house or you've been stuck at work or you've been stuck studying or whatever, it's for your benefit. You're being separated. Homeless, failure, castaway, and poor. What's homeless for Gemini placements? Some of you guys could benefit by donating to the homeless or volunteering. Or you could already do that. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces here, March Pisces, March Aries. What's this homeless? Yeah, Page of Swords. I'm getting heavy. I feel like somebody is trying to like fuck with your stability. something could have been built off of a false foundation between you and someone or you and a few people and that's why if you notice that you don't want to hang out with these people they don't want to hang out with you they not inviting you know where this person this person you wanted to date all of a sudden becoming busy they could have they could have had a, somebody could have had a choice between you and a third party just know rejection is for your protection you are going somewhere these people cannot I'm just going, I'm going to say, I'm going to try to, I'm not going, I don't want to keep repeating myself. So it could have been a disappointment in a love situation that you thought was going to go somewhere and it didn't. Something with friends, family, whatever, a work. It's for a reason. Queen of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Swords. I feel like somebody's trying to like, somebody's doing, somebody's trying to do some work. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Eight of Swords here, Jupiter and Gemini. Hold on. Yes, Nova. What are you looking for? No, no, no. I'm not just going to do anything. Yeah, Eight of Swords. I feel like somebody's trying to bind you to some type of poverty. For some of you guys, I don't know if this is like a... I feel like somebody's trying to watch. I feel like somebody's watching to see. Y'all need to keep... I need I need y'all to try to have like very strong faith, which I, feel like, which I feel like you guys do. I feel like you guys do. Eight of Swords here. Somebody could be feeling stuck and trapped. Somebody could feel like they have their hands tied. With the Queen of Wands, you guys are too powerful for that. Try to get out your head, Gemini. Something about your confidence. Get out your head. I feel like somebody is watching you for sure. Eight of Swords. As they're watching you, Source is watching them. Trust me. <laughs> Whoever it is. Eight of Swords. 
Yeah, seven of swords in reverse. Somebody got caught doing something. I feel like spiritually. Moon in Aquarius. Aries energy here, heavy. Or it could be, yeah, three of pentacles, three of swords. Somebody could have lied about something in the past. Somebody here could be out of work. This could be like a boss or a manager that some of you guys or, or a co-worker, employee that you don't get along with. I feel like somebody's trying to cause trouble. Somebody wants you to be stuck on some type of heartache and betrayal and sadness and grief. Yeah, it's like the eight of cups in reverse, the five of cups, the six of swords. Six of swords in reverse is unable to move on, unable to move forward. Somebody may, may, somebody may not be able to move on from you. So they could be trying to energetically or attack you or they could be talking shit about you. Okay. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken or they want you to stay in this heartbroken, sad-ass energy. They don't want you to network. They don't want you... Yeah, no. Seven of Swords in reverse. This could be self-deception. Y'all, you're not stuck in trap, Gemini. You're not poor. Stop calling yourself poor. Stop saying you're broke. If, if even if you, even if you're down to one cent, stop saying that. Seven of Swords in reverse. Stop overspending too. I'm telling you, look at this. Two of Cups. This could be a friend. Venus in Cancer, you could be seeing two, two, two. Sagittarius, Scorpio, November Sag, November Scorpio, could be a man. Shape shifting. Two's about choices, decisions. Knight of Wands here. I feel like you're finding your. I feel like somebody is shape shifting. Look at this. This is a this bitter bitch. This weird bitter bitch, man or woman. Somebody is like shape shifting. They could be coming into your dream state too. Who's what's this two of cups? Yeah, four of cups. Somebody wants you to constantly feel rejected in love and alone and like you like you're a castaway. Like your relationships always fail. No. Meanwhile, this person is mad because they're lying to themselves about their feelings for you. Moon and can somebody's trying to ignore their feelings for you. Or I don't know if you rejected somebody or somebody rejected you or they want you to be rejected. I don't know. Moon and cancer with this four of cups. What's the four of cups? This could have been someone that you did reject. Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's a curse on your love life. Gemini energy, this is you. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. You could be seeing 10, 10 on the clock. Or 10, 10 period. This phase of you being rejected, you being used or whatever, that's over with. The star here, because you healed something. The sun and the star here. Or you you recognize you're recognizing maybe your self sabotaging ways, maybe how you overthink things, how you let reject, how you let your fear of rejection take over. You're learning something. So even regardless if you regressed into a negative cycle or pattern in your love life or in any area of your life, you recognized it and you healed it. So that that is never is not going to happen again. And if and if somebody did try to attack something, your connections, friendships, or whatever, lovers jobs or whatever those people weren't if it if it worked they weren't meant for you page of swords so either way you win king of cups here cancer pisces scorpio libra energy october libra october scorpio somebody's watching you they're in love with you i don't know what's this king of cups they can feel yeah this what's this king of cups three of swords here somebody feels heartbroken betrayed sad maybe by you gemini you could have rejected someone you could have been, I don't know, somebody, I don't know if you were overthinking and you made a decision or this person did or somebody wasn't really, somebody's not in there. Somebody's more in their head space, and not their heart space, because we do see the king of swords here. Somebody's coming off really aloof, but really they're the king of cups or this is you guys. What's this three of swords here? Somebody's not learning from their past mistakes with that three of pentacles in reverse. That could be you, Gemini, or someone here. Three of swords here. Yeah, king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. That's the only match here. Yeah, I'm the Four Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Gemini's, don't worry. You got you're gonna have a second chance at something. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, July, Cancer, July, Leo. 
I don't know if somebody feels like you had a third party or this person. Somebody here could be, somebody shape-shifting. Somebody here could be into the same sex, man or woman. King of Wands. Somebody could be really attractive, but a bit arrogant, maybe. This is King of Wands. Ace of Wands. Whoa, you shake it. Yeah, somebody, this is like, somebody's doing something that's and that's not, that they have no business doing, justice in reverse. Somebody's a liar, the end of, somebody's been attacking you, or attacking your love life, or attacking your money. Nova, what happened? Shake it. Whoa. She's tired, guys. I'm, she kind of got up really early. I'm going to try to finish this. Yeah, somebody's like doing something that's unjustifiable. This person could be trying to bully you in the spirit or, or bully you, period. They could be threatening you legally or something like that. Somebody's getting bad karma for what they, for attacking you. They could be fighting with people. Let's, let's get some chakra healing messages. This person is doing something in your energy with that ace of wands. It could be sex or, or something with your sexual energy. What's this ace of wands? Yeah, the hangman, Pisces here. It's not going to work because you've already surrendered. You've been like, you gotten enlightened about something and you're doing the work. You're mastering something. Some of you guys could have a new creative project that you're working on that's going to get you out of this poverty if you are in that. Yeah, I feel like you guys are healing. You could be healing bad memories from your childhood or a child or inner child wound that somebody was attacking. Or they were, they were able to attack you or fuck with their subconscious because of that particular wound. What's the chakra healing message? Fear of pleasure, desire, and intimacy. This could be this person. This, somebody here has a lot of feelings for you, but they, only, they really only know how to give you sex. That's the only way they know how to. And this person could have been abandoned as a child in some way, orphaned, something. Or this could be you. Clouded judgment, yeah. Something clouded somebody's judgment. It could be pain. Somebody is stuck on the past. They keep replaying past events, painful events. Look, thank you. Look, she gave us the green baby. Something about somebody's inner child. Thank you, Nova. Root chakra. Go back to that. Go back. The root chakra formulates when we're in our mother's womb up until the age seven or seven to eight. Somebody may need to go back into their to their roots. What happened, what was said, or what happened between you guys between the age of one and seven or eight? Root chakra, safety, stability, survival, security. The crystals are red, jasper, ruby, and hematite. The element is earth, Archangel Gabriel. I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here, period. Some of you guys may have to stand your ground in this situation, fight for a position. This is about work or a co-parenting thing for some of you guys if there's kids involved or stand stand your ground for yourself. Because you guys have such unwavering faith, even if you have to stand alone, something is coming in for you. Feeling insecure. Yeah, you don't have to feel insecure, Gemini. Something here could have just been sex-based, so you surrendered it. You got lack of creativity. I don't know if somebody's trying to pull on your creative energy or hold on to it, especially your sexual energy, which is the same as your creative energy. Unstable and insecure. Heart chakra, yep. Love, acceptance, compassion, growth, and balance. The crystals are green avertrine, rose quartz, amazonite, rondo crocite. The element is air, archangel chamuel. It says, I accept, respect, and love myself, and I am worthy of receiving love. Again, I accept, respect, and love myself, and I am worthy of receiving love. Period. You are worthy of receiving love, Geminis. Some of y'all guys could have realized your self-sabotaging ways. Some of you guys may have a hard time expressing your emotions with people. So you may get defensive, or you may, you know, overthink and cut things too short, or just, you know... And that could be what, and if somebody's attacking your love life, if you still have a wound that you, something that you may still need to work on from something that was painful and unpleasant that you're still holding on to, you may really want to heal from that. Because if you don't, you're going to keep repeating the same patterns in your love life, whether you get good partners or not. 
you got detachment, the, the hangman, something is requiring for you to let go. So some new energy can come in. Somebody was just a catalyst for your change, for your growth. Or a situation. Trouble obtaining financial security. This could have been why you've been having trouble with that. Or somebody else, difficulty accepting change. Self-sabotaging. Some of you guys are self-sabotaging out of fear, grief, trauma. Or this is this person, controlling and manipulative. Somebody here may try to plan your emotions. Don't let them do that. Resentment. You guys may still resent somebody for something. Feeling unworthy or they feel unworthy to you. Unable to concentrate. I feel like yeah, wearing a mask. Somebody's mask is falling off with that seven of swords in reverse. Somebody can't hide behind something any longer. Or well, this is you. Suspicious and fearful, not feeling good enough. Yeah, that could be you, Gemini's. So I feel like something's requiring some type of change of action from you. Okay. So Gemini, this was your reading. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.